Welcome to Core Concepts from Dent Head Gaming. Let's see this build. All right, guys, got another build for you. This is Genesis. Is in, uh, I actually thought of this right after I bought my new car. I bought a uh, Genesis G70, uh, and I actually thought of this. I was playing this game, and I actually went to the restroom, and on my way back from the restroom, this combat strategy actually popped into my head and I'm like I have to build it and uh, so I'm gonna de I, I, I definitely made this just because of uh, my new car I painted it like my new car it's white it's got you know red Brembo brakes on it uh, it's got this cool gunmetal color on it definitely painted it after my car for sure but the uh, combat style just kind of like clicked into my head uh, and uh, I just I had to build it so anyway this is Genesis uh, I is running a Ludlow that's mainly for uh, close to mid-range suppression of the enemy as per usual that's how I usually like to use my machine guns uh, it's got a Warger 66e on the other hand which uh, can be used to help build stagger and be used to punish which is it's a really unique weapon if you haven't tried the Warger out you definitely should because it is a lot of fun to use on the back we're running two VP 60 LTs and these things are a nuisance on the battlefield I I think they need a little bit of a buff to make them a little bit more acceptable. Like maybe the fire rate goes up. That would be cool. Uh, I don't mind the reload time being five seconds, but uh, when you're when you're doing, I wish the fire rate like you get all three of the little drones out faster. You'll see what I mean once I'm actually uh, in the uh, in in the fight with Freud here, but. Main battle strategy here, that's basically all the weapons. Main battle strategy here is uh, don't push. So Genesis is designed to basically make a base and uh, enact himself in that base, in that little area. And uh, it's designed to make people push you. So um, a, a lot of times when you're playing uh, PvP uh, ranks, people will immediately just run away from you and they'll just rain down missiles genesis is designed to be able to dodge those missiles it just just it's like screw you come and get me uh i really uh enjoy playing this build with friends because normally they'll push and they'll be a little bit more experimental with their combat styles and usually it'll be a lot more fun but that's the main battle strategy you build a nest with your uh drone with your uh sorry laser turrets here uh you build stagger with the warger it's uh, about every five shots it'll overheat so pull the trigger four times wait and then pull the trigger four times again after that brief pause. Otherwise, the gun will overheat and you won't have it for the punish. And it is absolutely crushing to not have it for the punish. Anyway, uh, and then the Ludlow to just keep their stagger up and get built, slightly built stagger. Moving on to the frame, mine beta. Yep, not going to say it. I use it on almost every build, so uh, I'm not going over why. F Mira Core, because uh, she's a thirsty girl. She is just eating that supply efficiency she runs a lot of energy those two drones on the back really hoover it up so i decided to go uh and use that i paired it with a uh, kind of a, a weird generator but you'll you'll know why soon anyway uh alba arms because i wanted the uh accuracy uh you most definitely most definitely could change these out for arms that don't have as good of a firearm specialization uh like uh you could actually do bashos and probably be pretty well off uh, because you don't really need a uh, firearm spec because you don't need to be that accurate because you got a, a spray weapon and a shotgun. So by all means, put something like that on. Maybe put the Melanders on. These are great arms for shotguns and and uh, and uh, machine guns because they got the really good recoil control and plus you'll get that ben benefit of uh, buff defenses and AP. Not to mention your power supply might go up. Oh my gosh, I might actually swap to this. But I do like how fast it is. Uh, I do like that it's at 375 and 397. Those are fun specs. Uh, anyway, Alba legs. Uh, these are my favorite legs in the game. I just love the way these things behave. I love the way these make a lightweight behave. I just think these are just fun legs. Um, I definitely prefer them over the Faramises, even though you could technically put the Faramises on here, especially if you swapped out the arms. Maybe you could do that to squeeze a little extra speed out of it. That might be kind of fun and better defenses, who knows, depending on what kind of arms you choose. But that could be a good rotation out for this when if when you guys are building it. Anyway, uh, internal parts, we are running the uh, Alulus, <laughs> a mercenary's best friend, mainly because of this 
giant QB thrust and this awesome QB reload time, which we get the full factor of over here, which is absolutely wonderful when you need to dodge a lot of missiles or a cannon to not blow your face off. Anyway, uh, FCS, we're running Ocellus. We are a close range build with the two weapons that actually utilize the FCS. So this was kind of a no brainer. Also, the EM load is not too awful on it. The E20B. I did test this. Uh, this is pre-patch 107, so I don't know if they patched it, but I'm pretty sure this generator does buff my laser turrets. And that is the only reason why this uh, energy firearm spec right here is the reason why I use it. Uh, pulse armor, yep, stand mobile, need defense. Uh, I'm very, very squishy here, so I definitely need these to uh, protect me. Protect me! Anyway, that is the build and battle strategy. Let's go ahead and test this thing. Come here, Freud. All right, like I said, I am not going to push. I'm going to build a nest instead. And light him up. Now he's here. Make sure you keep popping drones. You just want to keep pushing those buttons. Getting close. Oh, I didn't get close enough. That's fine. Whoops. So if that ever happens to you, make sure you uh, hit the QB. So if you ever get locked in that uh, that charge, oh my god, those Alulus were just doing me some favors right there. Love the Alulus. I love my little Lulus. Oh, come on, Freud. You really going to do this to me? I'm getting in there. Get it. Ugh, there we go. All right, guys, that was Genesis. Let me go ahead and get you guys a share ID. I'm uploading it now just for you. We have a share ID of 5GBUSJJGNZGF. Uh, I had a lot of fun using this big giant robot to blow stuff up. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.